Good evening. The final minutes of George Floyd's life leading up to his deadly encounter with Minneapolis police. Now we're seeing that for the first time. During testimony in the murder trial of the now fired cop Derek Chauvin, prosecutors played never before seen security video from inside the corner store where clerks called the cops on George Floyd because he allegedly paid with a fake $20 bill. That's George Floyd in the black tank top. Today we heard from the 19-year-old cashier who sold Floyd cigarettes. He testified that he feels guilty for telling his manager the bill was counterfeit. This is the cashier pacing on the sidewalk outside the store with his hands on his head after witnessing George Floyd dying. What was going through your mind during that time period? Uh, disbelief. Thank you. Okay. Why guilt? Um, if I would have just not taken the bill, this could have been avoided. We also heard from an eyewitness who begged George Floyd to stop struggling with the officers. He told Floyd, you can't win. The witness broke down in tears as he rewatched the police body cam video of himself pleading with George Floyd. The judge had to call for a break. NBC's Jay Gray live outside the courthouse in Minneapolis. Jay, another gut-wrenching day. Yeah, Shep, it really was. Good evening to you. And look, the pace of this trial, it shifted a bit today. Initially, prosecutors slowing things down some, meticulously going through that previously unseen security video from inside the Cup food store that shows George Floyd interacting with other customers and employees. One of those, 19-year-old Christopher Martin, a cashier, as you talked about, telling jurors he had a brief conversation with Floyd and that he seemed, quoting here, high, but never appeared agitated or angry. Martin left the store twice, asking Floyd to come back in and talk with his manager about what was apparently a counterfeit $20 bill he used to buy that pack of cigarettes, then rushed back outside as the situation escalated with police. I saw people yelling and screaming. I saw um, Derek with his knee on George's neck on the ground. This is also new video from Derek Chauvin's police body cam, and we hear for the first time Chauvin during the confrontation. That's one person's opinion. But, but, no, 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 I got to get him. I got to get him. We got to, we got to, of course, kind of control this guy because he's a sizable guy. Yeah, and I got to get him in the car. Looks like, like, he's, looks like he's probably on something. He was talking to Charles McMillan, who was overwhelmed as he watched this video from the witness stand today. He kept saying, I can't breathe. And when he said, Mama, you're killing me. And they are killing me. That's what I kept saying, I can't breathe. Mama, they're killing me. Then when he started saying, I'm my body shutting down. Now, as this day ended, a Minneapolis police lieutenant, a specialist in security and body cameras, took the stand, signaling, Shep, perhaps a shift in the way the prosecution is going from this point on. They are scheduled to call a list of experts moving forward. Shepard Smith here. Thanks for watching CNBC on YouTube.